I might reshoot this tomorrow, but you know, whatever happens, happens. So basically, I'm Jordan. I will be your first week person of the month. I will be uploading every first Friday of the month. So I hope you guys like me. And today I will be doing 32 facts about me. Hope you enjoy. Fact number one. I am currently 15 turning 16 in October. My shoe size is big. You know what they say about big feet? You got big shoes. You pervs. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I am shoe size 11 in female. Shoe size 9 in men's. Because I am... Going on to fact 3. I am 5'11". I am... Why did I put 5'11"? I'm 5'10". Whoops. <laughs> I, I really just want to be 6 feet tall. Everyone go fund me. Uh, to get me sh uh, two inch shoes because I really want to be six feet tall. Thanks. <laughs> what is my favorite color? Fact number four. Lilac, which is the color of my wall, or purple. Yeah. Oh my god, there is something in my eye. Ah! Is it out? My favorite food. Fact number five. I really like pasta or just any Italian food in general. So I can't really decide. I am now holding a ceramic dragon. <laughs> what color are my eyes? Pure some blue, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have any siblings? One brother who's going off to college in like two weeks. Fact number eight, my favorite quote of all time is by Sherlock Holmes in the show Sherlock. I'm not a psychopath, Anderson. I'm a high-functioning sociopath to do research. Next, fact number nine. Uh, my dream job. I honestly couldn't decide because I really want to be so many things, but I know I only can choose one. And in realistic terms, I'd probably want to be a teacher, but in my dream terms, um, I either want to be an animator, a video game designer, or an actress. I know teacher seems really dumb because a lot of people hate teachers, but I'd be like that one chill teacher. My proudest moment, sack number 10. Me becoming a fuckboy. My brother just laughed. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm really funny. <laughs> My biggest fears, sack number uh, uh, <laughs> 11. 12. 11. <laughs> My biggest fears are either space and the dark. Because space, because it's. <laughs> it goes on for infinity. Like infinite. Um, ah, it's just so scary because there's no end. And if there is an end, where is it? Why haven't we found the end yet? Why haven't we traveled out far enough? How long does it take to get to Mars? I'm sure that can be answered with one simple Google search. But still, it's terrifying space is absolutely my biggest fear like if one day my brother was like oh yeah i'm gonna become an astronaut 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 <laughs> i'm gonna become an astronaut i'd be like no you ain't boy you stayed here on earth get the fuck out the space like we there are other there are probably other beings out there we can't be the only people in this fucking crazy ass universe like if we are like what what do you think that the other species out there like thinks about religion do they th do we know like do <laughs> Do you see the panic that is going on through my mind right now as I'm thinking like do they have religion? Do they have same-sex marriage? Do they know that we exist, but we don't know they exist like do they have cameras watching over us? Maybe this is what they see us through ah, I'm probably losing my mind to be honest in the dark it's <laughs> going on to the next subject and the reason I have a fear of the dark is because I have a very overactive imagination and I tend to replace the darkness with images that aren't there like for example um, if I was watching which I am 
I'm not watching it while I'm recording this because that'd just be rude. But if I just finished watching like a Shane Dawson conspiracy video, then I would probably replace the darkness with whatever he was just talking about. Like, he mentioned a video about shadow people. I, it was hard for me to sleep, so I had to sleep with my light on for like three nights. Three, three nights? I had to sleep with my light on for three nights because I was so terrified of the fact that there might be like, could be unearthly humans or demons that like come out from under your bed and like watch you and like make you paralyzed. Like, what? 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 Like, mm, 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 mm. I ain't dealing with any of it. <laughs> like, so that's why I'm kind of afraid of the dark still being a 16 year old. 15. <clears throat> Next one. <laughs> oh, top five songs. So, my number one on the list currently is Fresh Eyes by Andy Grammer. Two is Car Radio by 21 Pilots. Three is House of Gold, also by 21 Pilots. Um, number four is Legends by Raziel slash Monster Cat. Basically, if you look up Monster Cat, then type in Legends, it should pop up. It's a future based song, and it. And then number five is Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. So, fact number 13. I just got this off the list, so I'm just... What is in my wallet slash belt? Let's start off with my bag. This is my bag. It's a suitcase, I know, but I really like messenger bags. So, all I have in here is, it depends on what I'm doing, but for the most part, I have my It Gets Worse book. And my wallet. Is you okay? We're gonna go through my wallet right now. Yay! So let's see what's in my wallet. Just zip it closed. I'm smart. So to start off, it's a Claire's wallet, I know. Um, I have nine dollars. And if you can't hear, I have a lot of pennies and stuff. Then I have three Starbucks gift cards. I have these two wrapped up in receipts because they I use them and they sell money on them. So I guess you could call me a billionaire, you know. I'll be your, I'll be your Starbucks sugar daddy. Then I have a Subway gift card, which is used and has like maybe four dollars on it. Then I have my ID card. I don't yeah. Yeah, I used to have long hair. And then behind it, I have a credit card. Um, <laughs> then in here, I have my lighting. Lighting just died on me. And by lighting, I mean my computer. Because I don't have real lighting. Most of the time, I just use daylight. But as you can see, daylight is disappearing. So, But basically, in this back pocket, all I have is change. And then this front pocket, I have nothing. So yeah, that, that's what, number 13. My favorite childhood book. Okay, they just came out with a movie about it. The BF fucking G. Like, <sighs> I want to see that movie so bad, but I'm a broke ass bitch. Like, I'm gonna wait until it gets to the $3 theme, you know? <laughs> I really want to see the BFG. Like, favorite childhood book. When I saw it on the TV that it was coming out, I was like, boy, I almost screamed at like 2 a.m. because I, I love, I love, love that. Okay, do you mind? <laughs> Birds are chirping. 16. Oh, any healthy eating habits you have. I was originally vegetarian for like three to four months. And then I... Something happened. Something happened where I just... I just... I just... I stopped and I caved and I ate chicken. So then I decided, you know what? 
You know what I'll do? I will. I, that's, that's one of my healthy habits that I have. I don't eat red meat because red meat can lead to heart disease, but anything can lead to heart disease, really. Unless you're vegetarian and you stop eating meat. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, animal abuse, but you know, that's, that's besides the point. <laughs> and I plan to go back to being a vegetarian once I moved out on my own because my mom is already very upset with me at the fact that I, um, I eat different dinners than the rest of my family. Whoops. Where do you see yourself in five years? Fact number 18. Hopefully in college, like, five years would be, I'd be 20, turning 21. So that would be, like, summer into senior year of college. So hopefully I'd be there. Next question. Uh, number 18. Oh, shit. Number 17 was before. Sorry. Number 18, what blogs do you follow? And I was assuming that they were talking about Tumblr, but probably not. I follow cosplay, art, and celebrity blogs because I'm a, I'm, I'm a dork. <laughs> a photograph of myself. Well, as you can clearly see, this, this, is, this is me. So fact number tw 20 is what makes you happy? Probably writing down stories or acting them out. Because I really like acting and I've been told multiple times that I'm really good at it, so. Um, what makes you sad? Fact number 21, when I feel left out by my friends. Oh my god, why did I do this to my hair? And I don't fuck it, it like curls out like bitch. Who's the boss of the bitch? Me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, going back this way. Anyway, uh, when I fact number twenty one, I get sad when I start to feel left out by my friends. Basically, when they're like intentionally, well, I feel intentionally ignoring me and not replying to my messages and just straight up leaving me on read or read. So, yeah, that was, that's what makes me sad. Um, bad habit of mine. Biting my fucking nails. Oh my god, do you see how bad these cuticles are? Bab, babe, my nails are so bad. <gasps> oh, <laughs> like I, mm, no, I'm just, I'm just bad. I'm, mm, no. So... Yeah, that's a bad habit of mine, because biting my nails, biting your nails is really bad for you. Or at least I think it is, because you don't get them long, luscious nails that you can like tap your keyboard with, like while you're waiting, just like, instead you get a nubbing noise. What? <laughs> if I won the lottery, I would buy my family everything that they wanted, and possibly pay off my colleges. My brother's college's college fund or my college fund who know maybe both and I, I just want to get my family everything that they ever wanted I would buy my father all the drones that he wants I'd buy my mom a pool that she wants I'd buy my brother anything that he wants because I don't know what the fuck he wants probably like college tuition but he's already getting that paid um yeah then with whatever money I have left, probably put- Okay! Do you mind? Don't. Stop it. And then with the rest of the money- I Bitch! Squawk yourself! That bird won't shut the fuck up, so I guess we're gonna have to deal with this. Anyway, continuing on, without hopefully getting bothered by this fuckboy bird. <laughs> so, fact number 23, what do I look for in a significant other? A uh, funny personality, like really bubbly like me, because I'm bubbly AF. I'm like a soda bitch. 
and a cute smile. I really like smiles. Smiles are just so <laughs> Um, a hidden talent of yours. I'm gonna have to say acting because no one really knows I act. Only really my like family does. And apparently some of my friends found out I acted and they were just like, you should join drama. And I'm like, I would. I would. I'm going to get my schedule changed to join drama. Fall in, like make the teacher love me because I am like, mm, I'm on point when it comes to drama though. Just saying. <laughs> um, fact number 26. What do I have in my closet? Uh, that's where I keep my shrine to senpai. <sighs> anyway. Why is that so darn? Like, focus on me. Thanks, boo. Um, so, fact number 27. My most... She Okay. Hi. Um where did I leave? Oh, fact number twenty seven, my most embarrassing moment. <sighs> I once accidentally told my Spanish teacher that I loved him instead of saying the two characters loved each other. Yeah, I told him yo quiero, which basically means I want you, aka I love you, and it- <laughs> It was so embarrassing because he looked at me all like- I was like, no, wait, no, <laughs> send help. <sighs> Continuing on. Fact number 28. A confession. Well, you guys, I'm bi with a female preference. But if you couldn't already tell, I have a weird obsession with Paul Walker. Just look at him. Look, look, look at him in his all sexy glory. Wait, how do people like Yes <laughs> Um Fact number twenty nine when I was about five years old I was helping my mom cook dinner and I fell onto the stove and I have a burn mark. If I if it doesn't show up I'll try to take a picture of it. Yeah, it's not really showing up and you can kinda see it, like it's not very visible anymore. But yeah, it's right here. Um, I got a burnt mark because I fell onto the stove and it got like melted onto the stove, like the actual stove. So yeah, that was fun. Fact number 30. I am Steven Universe and Homestuck trash. I am sorry I had to tell you guys. It's, it was really hard for me to come out and tell you guys that I am trash. I am a wasteland. Final two facts. 31. I am a cosplayer. Whoa! Let's see if I have any cosplays. You probably don't recognize any of those characters unless you watch Homestuck. Watch Homestuck. Unless you've read Homestuck. But if not, that's fine. Here are all my cosplays. And fact number 32, I am a fucking huge ass fangirl. I fangirl probably way more than anyone I've ever met. I am insane when it comes to fangirling. <laughs> like, okay, I'm not insane insane. I basically fangirl over, like, I guess smaller celebrities that not a lot of people know, but I know them, them and whenever someone, like, brings them up, I'm like, <gasps> you're talking about my sen- Hi! Not Paul Walker. Paul Walker will always be number one. <sighs> oh, what's wrong with me? Paul Walker is so hot though, even though he's married. Send help! 
Anyway, that would be all for today. I am going to go and finish up this YouTube video that I was watching. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked it, press that like button down below. Like, boop, 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 boop. Also, if you want to help me out by following my Instagram, here it is. This is my cosplay Instagram. Not giving out my personal because that's my personal. Unless we start getting big, then, you know, I guess I'll, like, hand out my... I'll make a new account. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, follow my cosplay account on Instagram. My Tumblr, our shared Twitter, and that should be all. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit subscribe, hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Do it all at the same time. You know, just do it. Do it. Nothing is impossible. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be memes. Always.